Bienvenidos y bienvenidas a su clase de inglés. Hello, guys. Welcome to your English class. Mi nombre es Diana Juárez. Soy de la Ceiba Atlántida. 11th grade, BCH, Inglés 4. Topic to be allowed to, October 2020. Homework. Let's check it. Complete the exercise in your notebook, then complete the sentences with the gerund form of the verbs in parentheses. Number one, cooking is one of her favorite hobbies. Number two, it's no use studying the day before the exam. Number three, eating fruits and vegetables is good for your health. Number four, I will never forget visiting England. Number five, making fun of other people is not nice. Number six, we will call before leaving town. Number seven, traveling makes people more tolerant. And number eight, they really enjoy reading romantic novels. So, if you have your homework like this, it is correct. Good job, guys. Objective. To express permission with to be allowed to in present and past. Model verbs. Model verbs are a special kind of verbs that add degrees of ability, possibility, permission, or obligation to another verb. The common model verbs in English are can, may, must, shall, will. Los verbos modales son una clase especial de verbos que agregan grados de habilidad, posibilidad, permiso u obligación a otro verbo. Los verbos modales comunes en inglés son can, may, must, shall, will. Can. The most common way to express an ability to do something is with the verb can. Can is a model verb and is only used in the present tense. Can is also used to indicate possibility and permission. La forma más común de expresar la capacidad de hacer algo es con el verbo can. Can es un verbo modal y solo se usa en presente. Can también se usa para indicar posibilidad y permiso. Be allowed to. When the auxiliary can is not grammatically possible, we often use to be able to or to be allowed to instead of can. The past of can is could. To put can into other tenses, we need the phrases to be able to or to be allowed to. Cuando el auxiliar can no es gramaticalmente posible, a menudo usamos to be able to or to be allowed to. En lugar de can, el pasado del verbo model can es could. Para poner can en otros tiempos, necesitamos las frases to be able to or to be allowed to. Let's look at this. In affirmative sentence, in the present, the examples with can, I can play football. Now, if we're going to pass this sentence with to be allowed to, we're going to use the verb to be. I, the verb to be of I is am. So, I am allowed to play football. How we do it in the past? Well, in the past, it's could. So, I could play football. And with to be allowed to, the past of the verb to be am is was. So, the sentence is, I was allowed to play football. Repeat this sentence with me. I can play football. Now, repeat with me with to be allowed to. I am allowed to play football. Okay. Now, in the past, could, I could play football. 
Good. And now, with to be allowed to. I was allowed to play football. Good job, guys. Now let's see negative form in the present. I cannot play football with can in the present. And with to be allowed to, we use the verb to be, I am not allowed to play football. In the past, could, I could not play football. And with to be allowed to, I was not allowed to play football. Repeat the sentences with me. In the present, I cannot play football. The next one, I am not allowed to play football. Good. Now, in the past, I could not play football. The next sentence, I was not allowed to play football. Good job. Now in questions, in present, can he play football? And with to be allowed to, is he allowed to play football? In the past, could he play football? And with to be allowed to, was he allowed to play football? You see, we have the verb to be at the beginning in with to be allowed to. And in the past as well, we have the verb to be was at the beginning. And we change the sentences to allowed to. Repeat the sentences with me. Can he play football? Is he allowed to play football? In the past, could he play football? The next sentence, was he allowed to play football? Good job, guys. Now let's pass to May. The meaning of May is similar to that of can. It is used for asking permission or expressing possibility. Be allowed is also used to indicate permission. The use of may in to be allowed to, we substitute may with to be allowed to. The model may can only be used with the simple present. El significado de may es similar al de can. Se utiliza para pedir permiso o expresar una posibilidad. To be allowed to también se puede usar para indicar permiso. El uso de may y to be allowed to. Sustituimos may con to be allowed to. El verbo model may solo se puede usar con el presente simple. Affirmative sentence in the present. May. I may play football. How are we going to change the sentence with to be allowed? We use the verb to be. I am allowed to play football. And in the past, may does not have a form of past. So if you want this sentence to be in the past, you have to use allowed to, to be allowed to. So. The sentence, you substitute the may and you pass the sentence to I was allowed to may, I was allowed to play football. Repeat the sentences with me. I may play football. The next one, I am allowed to play football. And in the past, I was allowed to play football. Good job. Now negative. With present. I may not play football. And with to be allowed to, I am not allowed to play football. In the past, 
It's not possible with me, but you can do it with to be allowed to. I was not allowed to play football. Let's look at the present. Repeat the sentences with me. I may not play football. We pass that sentence to, I am not allowed to play football. And in the past, I was not allowed to play football. We change the verb to be to the past. Good job. Now in questions. Present, may he play football? And with to be allowed to, is he allowed to play football? In the past, it's not possible with may, but with to be allowed to, was he allowed to play football? Repeat the sentences with me. May he play football? Is he allowed to play football? And in the past, was he allowed to play football? Good job, guys. Now, let's practice. Write the sentences with be allowed to, and if it is in present or past. You could go out during the lesson. How can we change this sentence with be allowed to? Give me an example. You were allowed to go out during the lesson. Is this sentence in the present or the past? Simple past, good job. Next sentence, guys. They cannot speak Spanish in the class. Let's rewrite this sentence with be allowed to. Can you tell me how is the sentence? They are not allowed to speak Spanish in the class. Is this sentence present or past? Simple present, good job. Now let's look at this other sentence. Can we listen to music? How are we going to rewrite the sentence with be allowed to? Are we allowed to listen to music? Good job. And is this sentence in present or past? Simple present. Good job. The next sentence. I may not play soccer. How are we going to rewrite this sentence? I am not allowed to play soccer. We add the verb to be, and we add the allowed to. Good job. Is this sentence in present or in past? Simple present, good job guys. And the last one. May she go to the bathroom? How do we rewrite this sentence? Is she allowed to go to the bathroom? Good job. Is this sentence in present or in past? Simple present. Very good. So guys, this was it. Remember, let's stay home. Let's stay safe. See you next time. Bye.